Welcome to DIYEasyCrafts.com. Today we're going to take a look at how to patch and repair a hole in a hollow core door. Now these masonite doors are very common interior doors, uh, but unfortunately uh, they are fairly easy to damage. Uh, this was a rental property, a rental apartment, um, and when the tenant left I found a hole in the masonite door. I, I filled it in just with a piece of wood, in this case a, a paint stirrer. I added a uh, screw and screwed it into place below the damaged area and then I removed the screw that I used just to you know hand hold it in place. This is just going to provide the backing. Now I use a Bondo product but this is a fiberglass based Bondo product so it actually has fiberglass fibers and, and strands in it. It is much stronger than standard Bondo. It'll stand up to years of this door slamming and I fill it in using that piece of wood as the backing. Then I give it a good sanding. <clears throat> I'm just using an oscillating sanding uh, sander with a uh, 80 grit paper. I'm really sanding almost all of the Bondo off and then going back over and refilling the uh, damaged area as well as the screw hole. Now in order to get the wood grain, I'm just going to use the corner of my putty knife. Now you don't have to be an artist. You know, all you basically have to do is just follow the grain from the top down to the bottom and make sure you're leaving that impression as deep as possible. You want to, you want to scratch these lines, you know, right to the base of the door. You can see all the all of the recreated wood grain lines. And now I'm going to go back and sand it one more time. And don't forget this bondo dries very quickly. You know, you can you can start to work with it depending on how much hardener you put in, probably within five minutes. So this whole project really doesn't take very long at all. So this time I'm sanding away mostly the edges of the Bondo to kind of get them to merge into the, the flat of the door. Uh, but I definitely want to leave that, that wood grain. And after I sand it, if there's any areas that the wood grain um, is not still showing, I'll go back with a pointy blade, a pointy knife, and I'll just re-scratch those. And sometimes really all you're doing is pulling um, you know, the dust out of the grain. So after one coat of paint, um, you can still see the damaged area, but it's much better. And after the second coat of paint, you know, when I repainted the entire door, uh, then the damaged area almost completely disappears. So there you have it, a very quick, very easy way uh, to patch uh, masonite or hollow cord doors with a wood texture. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, I ask that you please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this YouTube channel. By all means, check out our other do-it-yourself projects on www.diyeasycrafts.com. Thank you very much for watching.